Since Bitcoin is open and decentralized, anyone can join the network and set up a wallet without providing any personal information. And this is what makes Bitcoin somewhat anonymous, but not completely. Although it is not always easy to find the identity behind each address, all Bitcoin transactions are publicly recorded on the blockchain and open for anyone to see. Therefore, Bitcoin is not considered anonymous, but a pseudonymous cryptocurrency and, as such, is susceptible to dusting attacks. Dusting attacks were created as a method to analyze blockchain transactions and de-anonymize users. They refer to an activity where attackers try and break the privacy of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency users by sending dust transactions to their wallets. But what is dust? The term dust refers to a tiny amount of coins, an amount that is so small that most users don't even notice. Taking Bitcoin as an example, the smallest unit of BTC is one Satoshi, and one Bitcoin is equivalent to 100 million Satoshi. So, we may use the term dust to describe an amount between one Satoshi to a few thousand Satoshi. Although dusting attacks were initially performed with Bitcoin, they are also happening with other cryptocurrencies that are running on top of a public and traceable blockchain. So how does a dusting attack work? Since each cryptocurrency wallet contains multiple addresses, the first step of a dusting attack consists of sending dust transactions to a large number of targets. The attackers then track down those funds and perform a combined analysis in an attempt to identify which addresses belong to the same wallet. The goal is to eventually link the dusted wallets to their respective companies or individual users. If the wallets are successfully de-anonymized, the attackers may use this knowledge against their targets, either through elaborate phishing attacks or cyber extortion threats. An effective way of protecting yourself against dusting attacks is to simply not move the dust funds you receive. If these funds are not moved, the attackers are not able to make the connections they need to de-anonymize the wallets because these attacks rely on a combined analysis of multiple addresses. Considering that Bitcoin wallets do not require personal data to be created, any transaction that is made directly between two parties is more likely to remain anonymous. Ideally, a brand new Bitcoin address should be created for every new receiving transaction in order to preserve users' privacy. Dusting attacks are not always related to phishing or cyber extortion. They may also be performed by authorities as a way to track cryptocurrency users and eventually detect illegal activity. Along with dusting attacks, other de-anonymizing techniques that involve blockchain data analyses are being deployed by companies, research labs, and governmental agencies in an attempt to de-anonymize blockchain networks. To learn more about cryptocurrencies and the technologies behind them, don't forget to watch our other videos at Binance Academy.